Hi folks, I'm HanaAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I've got great news for you, for those of you with Note 2, and you've been asking me, Max, when are you going to review CM12? Where's Lollipop for my Note 2? Well, I have good news, guys. I've got CM12 running on all of my Note 2s, the Sprint, Verizon. I've tested all of them, and they run pretty good. Uh, you can expect performance improvements up to over 30%. So it runs faster than anything you've ever ran on your Node 2. Um, so let me go ahead and just give you a quick overview. Let's go do this, baby. For those of you who have been waiting for a solid Android 5.0 Lollipop ROM, it's been a pretty long wait for the Galaxy Note 2 series. One of the coolest things about the Note series and the Note 2 is that there are custom ROM developers uh, don't forget to thank him and donate to them, uh, who actually make it possible for users to upgrade to the latest Lollipop Android 5.0. I've been actually flashing a bunch of CM12 ROMs for the last couple of weeks on my Note 2, and boy, the beginning was ugly. There was a lot of problems like camera not working, data not working. Uh, fortunately, as of this week, I can finally say there's a an Android 5.0 Lollipop ROM that's stable enough to run as your daily driver. This is the latest CM12 ROM that's available for all the Node 2 variants, including the AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, Canadian, GTN 7105, and GTN 7100. Uh, sorry, if you're using AT&T or Verizon with a lock bootloader, you're out of luck unless you have rooted to your phone way before and you have CWM or Torp installed. Does not work with SafeStrap, so stop asking. Performance is excellent. I was able to score near 29,000 on and 22. That's a whopping 30% improvement in performance over stock TouchWiz ROM and KitKat. And yes, Lollipop makes your phone almost as fast as the Note 3, uh, which gets almost like 34,000 and 22 with a stock TouchWiz. That is amazing. Installation is easy if you have CWM or Torb Recovery installed. If you don't have that installed, that means you probably can't install it, or maybe you forgot to install it. First, go ahead and download the ROM for your model of Note 2 on my site, and also the Lollipop G apps. Don't forget the G apps, otherwise you will not get the Play Store. I always have one or two people who ask me, uh, after I post it, they ask me about the G apps, and then I'm like, geez, did you read the instructions? So I'm going to include that in my video. Uh, and then go ahead and reboot into recovery. Format system, all right, then do factory reset, install the ROM, install the G apps, and reboot. That should get you booted the very first time. Okay, it's still not perfect by any means. You might find a little bug here and there. Uh, it's a development in progress, but for most of the basic features of Android 5.0 Lollipop, works flawless out of the box, including your data, voice, NFC, Bluetooth, and camera. With that said, if you want to run the latest Lollipop on your Note 2, give this guy a go and do let me know what you think. But I think you guys will love it. It is super fast. Uh, you're going to be able to experience the Android 5.0 Lollipop today, not when Samsung decides to update it. Besides that, they stopped updating uh, the Samsung touch, touch with firmware anyway. So uh, just try it. And thanks guys for watching this video. If you have a Note 2, definitely check out the latest CM12. It runs near flawless. Uh, and uh, I really like it. And for those of you who have a Note 2, now you can have performance almost of a Note 3. Uh, thanks to open source developers. One of the reasons why I love the Note series, and I can't emphasize enough, uh, and you know what, I don't get paid by Samsung, LG, or anybody. I just base my opinions based on the best out there. Um, so I just want to correct that for those of you who thought I was a fanboy of anything. I'm not a fanboy, I just go with what's the best out there. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and have a great weekend. And as always, I stay on Android.